This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. My name's Cody, C-O-D-Y. I play sports. I'm addicted to cough syrup. Hello, my name is Victor, and this is my husband, Ralph. He's a mute. But anyways, we're here to talk about my poor son, Cody. He is addicted to cough syrup. Badly. He was such a cute baby when we adopted him. He was in the corner, all alone, playing with Legos by himself. And I just couldn't help but to get him. <laughs> oh! Gosh, damn it. Fucking bullshit. Hey. <coughs> Hi, Dad. Hey, son, how are you? Tired. You, it's like 3.30, why are you tired? Because I have no life. Hmm. Okay. Hi, Dad. Hey, I plugged in Halo for you. Thanks, Dad. Hey, fucker! I hate you, dickhead! Woo! Oh, die! Balls in your face, yeah. Whoa, you like that? Oh, yeah. Mmm, yeah. See a grill over there? Watch this. Are you doing sexy? Yeah, I'm doing fine. <laughs> You're doing better. Oh shit! You're doing good, baby girl. I'll get. I'm gonna give you my DJ you hit in my plate, okay, girl? Oh yeah. I'm Dr. Shavako. I'm here to help your son Cody. God damn it, will you just quit playing grab ass over there? And this fucking fat ass over here <laughs> scarfing down his food, and then you got the crackhead over here playing the liar. This family is messed up. The real problem is Cody. What the shit is this? Sit your ass down, we have to talk. I'm Dr. Shivako, by the way. What the hell is this? What is this? Cough syrup. Sit down. Make me. Sit your ass down. <laughs> Son, sit down. Okay, I'm Dr. Shivako. And your family thinks you're a fuck up. Even though you got two queer ass dads, a fat ass brother, and a crackhead uncle. We're gonna start by asking some questions. You have any problems with this? No. Alright, your brother Thurman over here has got something to tell you. Cody, I hate you. But I still want you to go to rehab. On the way to the airport, stop by McDonald's and get some dub cheeses. I'm hungry. What are you not? 
Will Thurman, not really thinking the situation. Now let's go to Uncle Earl for hear what he has to say. Dude, I'm gonna be completely honest, Cody. You don't wanna go there. That place blows, there's no pussy within a thousand miles. It 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 sucks. Don't don't go, stay here. Or we'll just cough her up and mess all day long. That's what I wanna do. That's really what I wanna do. I d I don't wanna go. Don't. More power to you, brother. God damn it, you're supposed to talk him into going. Oh shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you should be. Ralph, what do you have to say? <coughs> Alright, calm down. Sorry, you can't talk. What about you, Victor? Boy, I really think you should go. Freaking out, man. What? Freaking out. Exactly. Help me, doctor. Help me with him. You're going. Whether you like it or not. The only way I'm going is get that damn cough medicine back. I'll give you cough medicine. Are you gonna go or not? Fuck no. Alright. Are you gonna go or not? Hell yeah. Alright, now thank your family. Thurman, you're an asshole. I never wanna see you again in my life. I can feel like you died. Earl, I appreciate it for shining light in on my life. That meant a lot to me. Ralph, I've never understood you for since I've been living. And Victor, what should I say, Dad? You've always been a real dad to me. Like, Ralph's always been there, but... I don't know. You're just weird. You can't understand the douche babe. And I just want to say thank you for always having a halo waiting for me when I get up. When I've been dropped out of school, it means a lot to me. And I love you. And thank you, son. I love you, Daddy. Love you, too. Good. Get my damn cough Bullshit! You're coming with me! Uh, oh!